Hello everybody. And this is Monique from Monique's Jewel. Sorry about that. Um, I have a sterling sale that's going to be going on here. Um, I might have to do it in two parts. We shall see. Um, everybody remember this will be the new email soon. I'll not be using the other one. So just kind of remember that. I have an something that I acquired that I wanted to show. It's Lee Sands. And this one is Amber and Red Jasper. And it is so pretty. This will go with my other pieces, my Lee Sands collection. Um, anybody has any for sale let me know these pieces are just I just love them not pretty this is like super cold the amber pieces are beautiful and he's got his LS here so I just wanted to show everybody I'm just showing off on I now I've got this little box these sands. Okay. That was nice. Very inexpensive. Very nice pieces. And of course I keep him. I keep my angel very close to me. She is gorgeous. Pink quartz. Real pearls. Beautiful. Yep. She stays right here. As she hits the camera. Okay. So... Like I said, what I've got today is um, a sterling silver lot. Hold on here, shall I fix this? Now see here, the camera goes. Okay, let's fix it here. I cannot remember how I had it. There we go. I just want everything out of the way. Okay, so what I've got is sterling silver sale. I have tested a couple things. Um, I have found out a few things were sterling. The first piece I have here that I wasn't sure but I was almost positive is this um, collar choker style. Um, this is 925. Let's test. I have a testing video that will be going out here within the next couple hours where I tested this. The balls here are 925 and so are the drops so this thing is beautiful it is signed it is like AK it's on that centerpiece there and this is $30 so I put this over to the side but I had to prove to myself it was sterling because I don't like to just assume anything okay I also tested this Lee Sands. I mean, Lee. Oh my gosh, here we go. RLM, Robert Lee Morse. It's an artisan piece. Um, I've had a couple emails wanting to know why this didn't look sterling. Um, I I don't know what sterling. You know, it's a hammered piece. It has some little striations on it here. It's just part of his artistic you know, input into this symbol. It's his symbol. He made it. Um, it is a larger piece that he made. And the these pieces are replicas of his um, piece that he made in the 70s. But the chain is 925 sterling, and so is the clasp, the whole thing. So if anybody's interested in this piece, I've got like $40 on it. Um, it has worked double that plus some. So we will put him back in the box. Oh, I did not tell you how long these were. I've been testing jewelry. My brain's fried. This is 18 inches. The RL um, is 18 inches. And then there's that tag there. I've shown this quite a few times. Okay, this one. I have not measured. Let me measure this real quick. OK, 
Okay, the Aztec design. It is from here to here, five and a half. Um, I don't think I've ever had this on my neck. Oh, it's not tight at all. This comes down to the, you know, those little bones in your neck, down at the bottom of your neck. Yeah, this comes all the way down there. So it's definitely not up around your chicken you to death. So, and it is gorgeous. Okay, I'm going to keep my eye on the time. I have a new set here that is absolutely gorgeous. I went to put earring backs on these earrings. Whoops. These might be the neatest thing. I have, I saw this and I said, oh my god. I thought they were broken, right? No, this has a ball. Um, it actually moves. You can move these. <laughs> I just thought it was crazy. Isn't that neat? So those are the earrings. Look how silver. And of course these have been tested. We have earrings. We have a darling ring. Look at that. I mean, it's the most beautiful. It looks like spun silver. Let me get a measurement on this. Of course, see, it can be made a little bit bigger. This is about a six and a half. Yeah, that looks like a really good six and a half, and it's not open all the way. And then you have the cuff, which of course is marked 925, plus I've already tested it. And this is absolutely spectacular. This can be tightened up. It can be loosened some. Look at that. This whole set is just gorgeous. This is about two and a half. And like I said, it is, you can move it around. So this set right here, um, it is heavier, and it is $50 for this set. Okay, I'll we'll move this over. Okay. I have a San Marco bracelet that I wanted to show. It is a heavier piece. I will measure it for you. It is 925. It is marked right there on the clasp. Right there. This is come on. This is about seven and a quarter. And it is heavy. It's not super heavy, but it's it's a substantial piece of silver. San Marco is the design here. This one's on sale today. I'm gonna put 25 on it. So if anybody's interested, it is 25. I'm trying to figure out what I'm hearing back in the back. Okay, I just had this tested. This tested as 925. This has a cursive F right there. And we have the Oneida. Let me check this again. It, it actually says point blank Oneida Limited William A. Rogers. But that is, that tested as solid sterling. So this one, since it does have the, you know, F on it, that's an older name, we will just put, let's put 15 on this. And it is, it's a little bit larger. I'll show you how it fits on me. Now if it was to be fitting me, it would go there, but it's a little bit bigger. So it fits me about like that. And this is just very pliable, very nice. It's a nice piece of silver. Okay, next we have, I don't even know where to go next, it's, oh, next we have this absolutely gorgeous necklace that I want to keep, but I'm not going to. It is spectacular, it is heavy, 
it is long, longer. And of course it says right here. You got the 925, you got the 925 on the clasp, 925 right there. On the back, I think it says S-U-S or something. Um, let me look at this real close. No, it's 925 Italy. This is that light, light colored silver, and it is like that waffle pattern, plus you have some um, beautiful like electro cut, electro plating cuts through here. This is like I said solid sterling silver. This is beautiful. Look when you do that. Isn't that lovely? Okay, this is long. This is, let's see, we've got 12 and then we've got It is 18 inches. So it might look like it's a choker, but it's not. It is 18. It is gorgeous. This is $30. You couldn't buy this anywhere for $30. This is gorgeous. Okay, I'm going to keep on going. Look at that. Next, we have a very close twin to it. We have, this is 925 sterling silver with a overlay of rose gold. So you have a beautiful silver in the center and on the very edge you can see the rose gold. This is marked 925 Italy. Right here. Same thing on the clasp, it has 925. There and there. And on the back is the rose gold overlay, which reminds me kind of of um, the Black Hills gold, like my my Harley Black Hills gold bracelet. Very similar as far as this, the overlay. But there you have rose gold if you want it one day, and sterling on the other side with just a hint of rose gold on the bottom. I mean, on the edges. It's just beautiful. Let me measure this. I can't remember exactly how long this one is. This is a little over 22 inches. This is a gorgeous piece. And this is 25. Nowhere are you going to buy this for 25. Nowhere. Not beautiful. Okay. Let's see, we still have some time left before I have to do part two. Let's get into my little goodies here. Okay, we have the little Mexican guy. And I can't say for certain if it's Jade, but I think it very well could be. But this is Mexico and Sterling, and it says so. Mexico Silver, I'm sorry, it doesn't say Sterling. It says Mexico Silver right in the center right in there and um, he's designed very very precious the earrings and the little bottom piece here and I'm pretty sure that this is probably an Aztec design these are gorgeous I have seen bracelets to match so I'm up at twenty dollars on on these they're in excellent condition and they're screw backs that's cool. Okay. Next, I'm pulling out this mother of pearl bracelet here. Um, there is a 925. Let's see. Let me look. Where is my loop? I'm always losing my loop. Okay. Because it's white and matches the. Okay. This is 925. GM29. I don't know what that means. 
Mm. Yes. But it's darling. It's made with the little hook here. The back of it's nice. I haven't cleaned this. But it really doesn't need it. It's really, really pretty. And it's got quite a bit of silver on the back. You know, that's a pretty, pretty big piece. So I think somebody would really like this. So I'm going to put 17 on it. It's very, very pretty. Let's see how wide this is. It's right at almost two and a half. Yep. So it should fit quite a few people. It goes on easily. And then you just click it. You just click it. It almost looks like those alpaca bracelets. Very simple. So for somebody like me, that's can't hardly move. Isn't that pretty? Okay. Next, we have this cute little pendant. I don't have a neck uh, a chain on this. Hmm. But this is the Friends one, and it is nine two five. Where's my? It doesn't stick. And we will just say this is the cutest little heart. And this could be, you know what, this would be nice for even a bracelet. So let's just put $10 on this. I like the little coil there at the heart. And it says something. It says true friends. True friend reaches for for your heart and something else. But I thought that was awful cute. So we'll just put 10 on that. It's it's kind of heavy, really. I'm surprised. Okay, we have these darling little earrings. These are marked. SE925 Thailand. 